To me, I still I go with the Cavs. And and the reason why I do that is, is a couple different reasons. One, <laughs> get the best player in the world, which is LeBron James. You have an unstoppable force in regards to Kyrie Irving. Defensively, they figured out over two NBA finals how to negate the effectiveness of Steph Curry. Yeah. He's still averaging about 23 points a but game. He's not the same but guy he's not the them. same guy. No. Um, with Clay Thompson, Clay will get his. Here's the thing I've always said. Cleveland has uh, the, the best, I think, opportunity because Iman Shumpert, J.R. Smith, um, those guys can rough up Clay. They can rough up Steph without hurting their offense. No one on Golden State can chase. Clay can't chase Kyrie for 40 minutes. Oh, no, Cleveland can play two ways. Yes. It, Golden State can play, play one way. If, if, I, if I said to you, NBA championships are decided by your best three or four players. So we know Golden State's got four really good players. We know it's uh, KD and Steph yeah. and Clay and Draymond. Well, I would argue I get LeBron, K-Love, uh, uh, Kyrie, and I think Tristan Thompson is, a, is, is probably the worst of the eight, but still good. Yeah. My Cleveland guys can play two different styles, and I'll also throw this out. In championship games like the Super Bowl, Final Four, and the NBA Finals, officiating matters. What we saw last year in the finals was refs let them oh, play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I think that's a big edge to one team. Cleveland. So Cleveland. you're still, you're, you're favoring Cleveland. Too. I get a team that can win two ways, and I know in the last series, refs, let the players win the game. Yeah, they can win two ways on paper now, but today's team, they can't win because, number one, love is hurt. JR is hurt. But they'll be back. Okay, I, I understand all that. But there is a continuity and there is a conditioning factor. Like, how good a shape is Kevin Love going to be in? Say he only plays in 10 games before we get to the playoffs. So that will have an effect. And their ability to get through the East easy. Because if you look at the series that they've won, they swept over half of them. Yep. Right. So that would help them. In the long run, there's a couple teams. What if Golden State matches up with the Pelicans in the first round? All right, by the, by the time... You're thinking upset? No, they no, not, not it, upset, okay. but wear and tear. Tough, Just tough. like last year, when Steph was a little nicked up, they had some wear and tear on them when they got Portland to the finals. Portland was a tough five. You know, so it's the intangibles coming down the stretch. How healthy is Cleveland? And in the playoffs, what kind of matchups with the seedings does Golden State get? I, I favor Golden State. I give Cleveland a good shot. They're the only team in the league I really give a legitimate shot. And that's because LeBron is so great and Kyrie is so great. Like, those two are capable of lifting you Absolutely. over a better team yep. yes. like they did last year. Yep. And so I give them a shot. But Golden State is so good. Best defensive team in the league or one of the top two. Best offensive team in the league. Leads the league in blocks. It's difficult. They're so stacked. It's difficult to think of a trade that most teams could make that would put them on the level of the Warriors. Other than Cleveland, like who From could who could the Clippers standpoint. get? Can I throw this out? To put them. We go into the, the Super Bowl, Warriors. and Atlanta's a little like Golden State. We're like, man, they got a lot of weapons. And then we look. But at they've the, done it before. That's the difference. They have, but the advantage psychologically would be to Cleveland. KD hasn't won. Steph's coming off a of bad finals. Draymond's always emotionally mm -hmm. semi-unhinged. Right. I got Kyrie playing with confidence. Golden State has more pressure. More pressure yeah, on Golden pressure. State. Yeah, and a lot of pressure. guys either coming off a bad final or never won. I think the psychological edge, which always felt like it was a disadvantage for LeBron in his first, like, eight years yeah. in the league, like, I think it's in now his... Now nobody really expects him no, to win anymore. No, what's the pressure on LeBron? It's all on the... Now, look, I've talked to executives around the league. I want your two guys' thoughts that have said... They think Carmelo for love would make the Cavaliers better against the Warriors because Draymond Green has no... He, he destroys Kevin Love. Yes. Okay? Whereas if he had to match up with Carmelo, that's a whole different... And he's not going to destroy Carmelo Anthony. Now, I'm not saying I'd make that move, mm -hmm. but I've but, talked to some people that think for that series, yeah, for and that's series, really all they need it for, right. they're going to beat everybody else with <laughs> or without love. Right, but it changes the way you play, too. It changes yeah. the way you're going to attack Golden State, too. Defensively, they have to guard Cleveland a different way when you're guarding that pick and roll with Kevin Love than you do with Carmelo. So that's... It still... It sounds good on paper, but schematically, it's some different things. Now, also, too, you're talking about... How much incrementally better are they going to be defensively with Carmelo guarding? It's very much a wash. It, it, that's what I'm saying. So bad. offensively, you're going to get something, but the way this team operates, Cleveland does, I think they, the makeup of the team makes it so tough for them to guard with Kevin Love when he's playing at a high level. 
I, I like I like Kevin Love in the way they start with the Cavs because the Cavs go through Kevin yeah. Love. Yes. He's fourth in the NBA in first quarter scoring. But I think they would be a better finishing team with Melo because he would open up the floor, and he's more apt to take the big shots in the fourth or in overtime compared to Kevin Love. Yeah, Kevin Love gets off to a good start, but as the game yeah, goes on. Much. Yeah, later yes. on. I tell you, if Kevin Love goes from LeBron to the Knicks, the, C the next CBA has to have a rule. You can't go from LeBron to the Knicks. That's entirely unfair.